Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, today we're going to jump on priming a bunch of parts. Uh, the owner's been getting them to me and I've been picking them up and so they're starting to accumulate and really starting to get in the way. It's been cold here the last uh, week or two and I wasn't able to spray uh, any primer. So uh, as you can see in the foothills right near my house here, the snow got pretty low, never got to me, but it was too cold really to uh, spray this type of primer. So today that's what we're going to be doing. We got a bunch of parts getting. Uh, we have to get ready, and we're gonna. I'll show you a few tips on how to hold them, uh, so we can get these things sprayed. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, let's just start over here. So this is the uh, part that holds the shifter. Uh, all, all up against the column and all I did was just used a wood screw and I just drove it in there and that kind of holds that standing up so I can get all the way around it. No need to put two screws in it. It's not going anywhere. So I can paint all around that and have no problems. These are the uh, parts that hold the column on. They're heavy enough they're not going to move. These I believe go to the seat and then here's the shifter. So all I did on the shifter, and these things get hard to hold sometimes because you don't know, especially I didn't take this truck apart, I don't know, you know what shows and what doesn't. So what I did was I took a 2x4, I drilled a 5 8 inch hole, and all I did was just slide that down inside there. Now it's right where the splines are, so I know that slides into something so it's going to be fine. And then I can paint all the way around this and not worry about it. And the best part about doing these in prime and do, figuring all this out, when it comes time to paint, then all this stuff is either figured out or already made up. So, and this is uh, this is a kick panel uh, cover, and then we have the uh, steering column here. Now the owner's already painted the steering gear box, so I masked that off. So all we have to do is prime the column and get that ready. And then we've got the uh, piece here. This is simple. You just throw it on a rack. That's the where the hood latches down to. That'd be the radiator cover, I guess. And this is the bumper apron, I believe. And then over here, uh, all I did was, uh, I just, this is the uh, mirror arm. I just hung that by a piece of wire, really easy. And these are the braces that go up underneath the hood. And uh, I just used the bolt again, and then put some tape on it, and I just hung it on there so it can't fall off. And I'll probably have a little wire I hook on there to keep it from moving around. Now these other parts, these are the vents. Now this is the side vent, and the mechanism moves. So what I did was I just bolted it right to my, my bracket here, my holder, and uh, so I can get all the way around that really nicely. And here's the vent that goes, you know, right in front of the windshield. And so all I did, similar idea, I just bolted that right to it so it's uh, fairly rigid. i got to tighten that up so it doesn't move. And that way I can spray all the way around this. And I'll position that out to get the most important part facing out to where I can see it easily. There we go and then I'll tighten that up so I can get all the way around it. So that's basically it. Uh, you know, you just got to get creative with this stuff and, uh, you know, figure something out so you're not having to hold it, everything by wire or whatever. I can just lay this right here on this plywood, throw it on some old crappy sawhorses and spray some primer on it. So let's mix up some primer and get to it. Okay, we're going to mix up a small batch today, just uh, probably uh, two cups, you know, half a quart. Um, just to get these sprayed. Uh, I don't have a lot of area and this stuff goes uh, covers pretty well. I just want to get everything with a good coat on it so I can, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff is just going to be lightly sanded or scuffed and then painted. Uh, other stuff will get a little bit more work, but by and large most of it is just going to get uh, just this one coat and a light sand and it'll be ready for color. So let's get this mixed up real quick. And then we'll move over and uh, finish prepping up all the parts and get those tacked off and everything ready to go. Now, since it's cold, I'm adding more hardener. Now, um, you don't want to get carried away with this stuff and think, well, it's really cold. I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to add a lot more. You don't want to get into that game. You want to, uh, warm up your material. Uh, a lot of times you can take the material inside the house and let it warm up overnight. 
Uh, I'm not saying put it in front of a heater, but put it in a nice warm area so the material is not ice cold when you go to spray it. That'll help you out quite a bit. Um, when I'm done spraying this stuff, I'm going to put it out in the sun, let the sun warm it a little bit, and then that'll help set it off because it is a catalyzed material and it does need heat. If you were to put this at 30 degrees, it would just stay uncured. So it's, uh, it's important to you know, make sure you uh, spray when it's warm and the conditions are you know, good f uh, for what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stir this up and let it set and let's move over and get these parts prepped up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is just blow everything off. We're going to kind of blow off all our holders and the, you know, the saw horses and plywood and everything. Just to make sure everything's good and dust free before we go through with the tack rack. Now I tack off even when I'm priming because I've learned over the years you're not getting all the dust off when you're just using air. So, you know, just use, I got that old crappy tack rag. I'm still using it. I keep forgetting to buy a couple of new ones. Um, but it really works well to get that surface dust off that the air just won't blow off. So while blowing off, these two pieces kept trying to fly off here. So what I'm going to do is, there's some holes in them. So the good thing about using plywood is, now I, I don't, I'm not going to screw them down, but I'm going to put a, just a screw through there so it doesn't fall off. And then I can paint all the way around that hole, no problem. And that should do right there. So this one should stay flat. Um, and this will be fine. These pieces, like I said earlier, they're a little too heavy to be blowing around. So we'll put these over by the other part so I can kind of hit them all at the same time. And we're, uh, we're about ready to go. The steering column, all I had to do was protect the end and then the gearbox end. And then I'll just spray all the way around that. So we're ready to go. Uh, let's load the gun and get spraying. All right, let's get the stuff sprayed. Forgot to mask off the threads on that shifter. They won't be masked when I spray color, but when I'm spraying this heavy build primer, I don't want to cover those threads that much. Okay, we're gonna let that flash off a little bit. Now, the uh, mirror arm, I want two coats on. The uh, two vent covers, I want two coats on, especially over this old red here. In fact, I see something going on here. I'll have to put a double coat on. I wanna to try to seal that up because that keeps bleeding through the primer, and I certainly don't want a reaction when I'm spraying the base coat on. So I'm gonna let these flash off a little bit and get another coat on, maybe even uh, two more coats on it just to seal that up really good. And then I can do all my final sanding. It'll be ready for color. I can just set it aside and spray the blue on it later. So these will get double. I'll go over these to make sure I got everything covered really well. I might hit these just a little bit to make sure that, because uh, they're kind of scratched up, they didn't get a lot of prep. The owner sanded them really well. I did a little work on them. There were a few dents I knocked out. And then these parts over here, I'll just double check. I can see I missed a few spots on the shifter. So we're going to let everything flash off and I'll go over it again. Everything should just get one good coat and then all the others will get the double or triple coats. 
Okay, let's get the second coat on everything. Let me get the ones I missed first. Okay, all done. So most of these parts are just going to get scuffed. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now the, the uh, mirror arm is important and these two vents, obviously, they're going to get uh, some extra attention. But I did quite a bit of sanding on them and smoothing and straightening before I shot the prime. So this should be their final prime uh, unless something pops up. Now, uh, these pieces over here are mostly just going to get uh, just a uh, scuff, you know, just a scotch white pad, maybe a little bit of light sanding. And same thing for the kick panel cover. Shifter, I'll make sure it looks really good. It's going to get some special sanding. Steering column, I want to make sure that looks really good, so I'll, I'll make sure. I did quite a bit of sanding, and the owner did too, so it should be ready to go. Uh, and then these two panels, I'm pretty sure this is the bumper apron. And then the piece on the other side here is the... Uh, radiator cover or where the radiator sits underneath it and where the latch goes through and don't know what the technical term is for it but all these parts are ready to go all I got to do is clean the gun okay that just about wraps up this video on shooting primer on all these little small parts uh, hopefully you got something from it about part holding uh, you don't always have to hang everything from a wire uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it and if you think of a good one let me know because I'm always looking for new ways to you know hold these small parts uh, before I go any farther um, I started something uh, just recently on the last video where I asked everybody to send me a picture of their projects. Just send me a picture or two. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. And I'd like to post them at the end of the videos uh, every time I post a video. So uh, if you've got a neat project going on, it doesn't have to be a car, truck, motorcycle, boat, or anything. It doesn't matter. If you're making a bookshelf, I'd love to see uh, what you're working on. So uh, consider sending me those videos. I'll put my email in the description down below. And then just email it, me a couple of pictures and, uh, you know, tell me what it is, you know, what you're working on, you know, just a little description. And then put project as the subject line in the email so I'll be able to distinguish it from other emails I get. So uh, thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I know if you're watching this, you're going to hit the subscribe button, right? And uh, give me that thumbs up. It really helps promote the channel. We'll see you on the next one.